today's news crack down on hate speech and incitement to violence so this comes under gs2 policy the supreme court said authorities need to be con- conscious that no incitement to violence and hate speech are permissible the court underscored this while ordering the maharashtra and chatishgarh police and local authorities to keep a close eye on the public event planned by hindu janajagruti samiti so hate speech that is in 260 uh, 267th report of law commission of india hate speech is stated as an incitement to hated primarily against a group of person defined in terms of race ethnicity gender sexual orientation religious belief and the like it can cause harm to the targeted individuals and groups as well as to the society at large by inciting hated violence discrimination and intolerance freedom of speech and hate speech comes under article 191 class a guarantees freedom of speech and expression as a fundamental rights article 19 class 2 imposes reasonable restriction on this right balancing its use and misuse restrictions are allowed in the interest of sovereignty integrity security friendly relation with foreign states public order dignity morality contempt of court defamation or instigation of an offense So RP Act 1951 section 8 of RP 1951 prevents a person convicted of the illegal use of the freedom of speech from contesting an election. Section 123 class 3 and 125 of RP says that uh, it bars the promotion of feelings of enmity or hatred between different classes of citizen. Modi unveils three project worth 4000 crore in Kochi. So this comes under GS2 governance, three infrastructure project in Kochi, a new dry dock, an international skip repair facility of Cochin Shipyard Limited and an LPG import terminal of uh, Indian Oil Corporation Limited or inaugurated and they are in line with the vision to transform India's port shipping and inland waterways. So the new project including country largest dry dock would catalyze the development of Kerala also in southern part of country. and this would enable big vessel to dock here for repairs and it transform kochi into a south asia's largest ship repair center a new ecosystem of msmes were envisaged the new lpg import terminal would meet the lpg needs of kochi kolikot coimbatore erode selam madurai and trichy china china taiwan relations so this comes under gs2 ir taiwan concluded its democratic relations lai chanti of the democratic progress progressive party was the vice president under sai ingwen whom china has called the trouble maker in the newly elected president of uh, uh, taiwan this is a third term for the dpp with the win being perceived as a major blow to china So Taiwan has a democratic election which strengthen the idea of separate Taiwan it is in complete contrast to the one party system in China one of the main reason for China's assertiveness is the refusal of Ms. I to accept 1992 consensus 1992 consensus acknowledges that there is one China it was agreed upon between the Kuomintang and the Communist Party of China So however the, this conscious goes against Taiwanese consensus so there has all been a rise in the Taiwanese then where the younger generation of Taiwan do not feel any historical affinity with China this generation recognize itself as Taiwanese and have a grown up in a democratic political environment and they don't feel any bond with the united China thank you have a great day